What's up, YouTube? LND here. Uh, back with some more Daggerfall. So let's do this shit. Right where I left off again. Uh, the fucking Terrell Cell area that we had to get back to. Um, one of these places. I think this one. This is where. Matter of fact, I'm going to save why we're here. Which I already did. I'll do it again. So this area had two places I could jump off at and the one place is where I fell through the world or whatever so there's gonna be one with like a dead spider or something and another one that was weird then there might be maybe the wrong area I thought it was the door I walked in at which would have been that one it's so hard to click the damn thing. Make sure it's not on a different wall. Nope. Okay, so it's not this one. So is it this one? Yeah, I think it's this one. So maybe one with like a dead spider and then another one right below it. But there's the dead spider. And here's the other one. Okay. I think I clicked that already though. Oh god, I hope that doesn't kill me. Good thing I have lots of health. The spider one just goes to a different area. Isn't there another lever here? It's so hard to get the hitboxes on the levers. Okay, let me think. We just have to go through each of these. And find the levers that they have in them or whatever. Okay, that was the spider thing. Wait a minute. Just go this way for a second. Because there's that first level lever. Make sure that one doesn't open that. This is the area I was at. Like, I fell above the area. Okay, there's a lever over there. God damn it, use the lever. Okay, so I parked around in a circle somehow. No! Let's see if that changed something. Actually, realistically, I could probably... Nope. I was going to say I could probably heal and then just jump down. Can I... I can't remember if it's coming down or up. The fucking wall texture is like pulsating down there. Must be coming down. This one takes a hell of a long time. Is it actually doing anything? I don't think it's doing anything. Can't look straight down for some reason. Hmm. YOLO. Well, shit. If I can get the elevator to work now. Shut up, you're annoying. Does this one work? Let's see if that one works. 
Alright, climbing mode as it is. I don't know if I can do this on a straight up wall though. I can. I need to need to be like right here though. You have got to be fucking kidding me. Good thing I loaded there, saved the game. Okay, so I don't want to mess with that switch. It seems like it turned off the elevators or some shit. So I don't want to go that way. Let's see, this is the ring around one. That one I can't get to. I feel like I've been to all of them is the problem. I don't know if I ever went up here. Okay, there's an elevator here. Let me see if this clo okay, this closes a door and I don't know what that one did what that one does though. I do know I can get back up though over this way. Yikes, that was a bad idea. I don't know why. Let's see if anything changed down here. Is this? I'm gonna assume that doesn't do anything. Hopefully that didn't mess anything up. I'm assuming I have to close that one. This fucking maze shit. <laughs> Okay, literally can't get through here. Going to see if doing something to the, nope. And I just fucking missed it. See if doing something with this one actually does something now. Come on, don't do this to me. Wait for it to be fully up. I swear that like turns off the elevator or something though. Okay, now I just wait for it to come down. Okay, that actually the elevator actually worked there. I'm going to check this area again be sure I'm also going to go here first and go up this elevator see if by chance this is the one that's open now doesn't look like it uh, Okay, I don't think I don't think this thing up here helps in any way. Continue going this way. There's an elevator down. Oh, hold on. Let's try this. Did not notice that there was an elevator here for some reason. Okay. 
Oh yeah, that's the that's the elevator that leads to the doorway. Need to figure out which of these things. Maybe now it's open. I don't think this worked. Pretty sure I already tested it. God damn it. I need to find a way to get that that particular door open. Even though I don't really want to. And I know some people would get mad at me. I might have to actually like look up what to do. So I can get past it. I don't want to be stuck on this the whole video. <sighs> okay, that took quite the while to do. But uh, yeah, I did have to look up what to do. But if I won enough, I would have had no idea how to do it. There was a lever in a room that... I had no idea it had a lever in it, so that would have just been ridiculous to deal with. Sorry I had to look up what to do, but it really needed to be done if I wanted to get through this area. Now we can finally continue on. Uh, this is the guy. He killed me. Like, one shot me. So that's probably not good. Might not be able to do anything about this guy right now. I'm not going to let him smack me with a spell trying to walk into the door though. He uh, paralyzes me. Uh, might not be prepared for this. I, a lot of the stuff in Daggerfall that kind of bothers me is like like there's no way you know to be prepared or like no way you don't just know to have anti-paralysis stuff or that you need something to block magic or anything like that before doing something like this because nothing tells you otherwise unless you look it up and he paralyzed me which will probably last forever, for fuck's sakes. Okay, I w I'm gonna leave that part in where I actually kill him. So, yeah, I killed him. That took fucking forever. Like, probably like five minutes of loading and reloading, dying like every three seconds. Uh, now we need to get the fuck out this bitch. What the fuck is the elevator not like usable? There you go. Look how the hitbox was on it like it was up instead of down. Okay. Uh, I gotta remember which way to get out of here. It's like pretty much. Or pretty much. Seems like for the most part, when you have to go through a dungeon or whatever, they're like extremely straightforward. Uh, it's just, I don't know, you can get lost trying to get there. It's not exactly obvious where you're going, okay. So we're getting close to the place. Step on this to make sure it doesn't go up. Went down. Is that right? Is it supposed to go down? Uh, looks like it. Yep. Okay, so we can finally get out of this bitch. 
to the fucking elevator. Uh, now, I won't be able to, to do the next part of the story until level 10. Or at least that's the level it says you're required at. So... Nah, yeah, yeah, actually, remove those two things, and that, I don't know how, how I'm so encumbered, I forget the fuck I was saying, oh, the next, next few videos will probably just be like, those older dungeon, Daggerfall dungeon workout things, or whatever I did back in the day, um, I can do some more leveling. I'm not sure how many of those I will do because it probably took me like three or four hours of just running through the same dungeon before leveling up those two times. And it's obviously going to take longer now that I'm a higher level. So we'll see how many of those I'll do. I can do like quest or whatever. But as far as I know, doing quest does not do anything uh, in terms of like leveling. I mean, Skulk Burrow is like down here. Why am I even bothering searching it? I know exactly where it's at. Oh, I spelt it wrong, is what the deal was. Uh, cool. So now I have four health. And I had to go all the way. Okay, I'm gonna have to. There's like a town really close by. I'm gonna head to. So need dungeons. Definitely. What? I think I'm gonna sneeze. Okay. Let's see if I have any more room here. Room time has expired. Yeah, this is the, the place that's really fucking laggy. Okay, room. I want it for one day. Yes. I want to rest. Let's say 10 hours. Always run to the back to that room with that bitch in it. Every single time. Okay. Uh, that is getting kind of annoying, and I'm sure killing somebody in a town is not good for a reputation, or can probably screw something up knowing Daggerfall. But I have to do it. And I don't, I'm not really in the position to be able to easily get rid of it. Plus, it is honestly kind of helpful to have it. Uh, probably would be more so if I wasn't already, uh, already pretty much had max strength or whatever. I don't, I don't know. I say max strength. I just assume max strength because I'm at a hundred okay, go turn this in the dude is gonna say something that chair squeak was weird okay god damn it dunking myself in a toilet almost I think it was pretty easy to get to this guy. This video is getting quite long though. <laughs> that noise. I it was this way we wanted to go. Uh, down. Probably should have just went the way I went last time. Uh, this is it though. 
Nope. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of this real quick, just to make sure it doesn't have information I need later on. No, I don't want to look at my pictures. I want to take one. Well done, Booty. I'm sure that the prince will be most cooperative. Please accept this chorus as a token of my appreciation. In addition, I have decided that it is time for someone outside of Tibur Septim's line to know the truth about the Underking. As you know, Tiber Septim was the first emperor of Tamriel. Toward the end of his war wars of conquest, he betrayed his battle mage, Zurin Arctis. When Zurin died, his soul refused to leave his body, something to do with the mysterious Nominium sense that time Zurin Arctis had lived on as the Underking. Since that time, okay, that makes more sense. The Underking and his agents have been a thorn in my side for centuries. Just remember, should the Underking under King regain his mortal body, he would surely throw all of Tamriel into conflict. Ooh, good shit, good shit, no balls. How much is it? It, it, it it's, has power, though. Thanks. All right, I guess that's it. I got a special thingamajiggies. These girls are dancing for me. Well, I don't know how long this video is going to be because of uh, how much I'll have to cut out of it, but at least we got through the next part of the main story. After this, it's really just the journey to Therius quest or whatever that I have to do, but I do have to be at least level 10 for that, and we'll see how that goes. Um, for now, though, it'll probably be dungeon walkthroughs or workouts or whatever I call them, and yeah, I get, that's it. Uh, so that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to be notified when my new content is released, click the subscribe button on screen. And if you're looking for more videos to watch, click on the links to the right to be taken to either playlist there, or click the link on the left to be taken to that video.